I hope all my training with Rolf doesn't fuck me over in the end. Alright, level up. More strength. Give me more strength. God damn it, I don't want magic. A coin. Whoop do you freaking do? Alright, 16. Yeah, Rolf can survive a hit. The only problem is you just gotta uh, make sure make sure no one gets screwed over. Wait, wait, I can Oh yeah. I could have just done that too, and that would have been kept them safe. Alright. On the hand axe. This guy will s start moving. He has to move, otherwise we'd never be able to reach him. Yep, there's a bird. Oh boy, this could be troubling. Ouch. At least that didn't miss. Alright, level up. Can we get strength for two? Well, decent growth all the way, but again, I don't need magic. Jill, over here. Forget the bird. Just focus on me. Alright, there's, uh, three. Again, very short chapter. Assuming, you know, RNG is on your side. Oh, Leith can double. What a pity. Okay. There we go. Ouch. Bad bird. Bad bird. Stupid bird. Smelly bird. Take an arrow to the beak, you son of a crow. And critical number three for Rolf. Wonderful. Watch, Rolf's going to be MVP because I'm spoon feeding him so many kills. Okay, so. Jill should be on her way to talk to Ike, but just in case, I'm gonna go over here. And maybe move everyone else to... to the bow. The bow is the front. What is the back? Stern. Right is... Port. Starboard. Serving something. 1927. You passed the oral exam. That was a Spongebob reference. By the way, rest in peace, Stephen Hillenburg, oh my god. Like, I'm hearing this right, like, the time of this recording, Stephen Hillenburg is dead, and I'm just so heartbroken. Anyways, what are you lollygagging about? I'm mourning the death of a great writer. I'm Jill Frizzon, Riven Writer of Dane, attached to Carmen's Harbetting. I offered a truce. So she's gonna help us, but we'll accept it. I do yourself a favor and shut up. Trust me, you'll, you'll, you won't regret it. I'm on your side, genius. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Yay, we got Jill. But we have to wait until these guys come to us. This guy has to move. Okay, so only Jill's in range. Okay. Up. Oh. And two. Oh, yeah. Again, women riders start out with lances in this game, not axes. If she did start out with axes, she'd be really, really broken. Okay. Oh, here's the bird. He's moving slower because I think he's weighed down by his demi band. And we got a raven. Oh, dear. 
The boss is moving. And... Oh, for God's sakes, Rolf. Can you get some strength, you stupid boy? You know what? No, I'm training... You got enough experience points. I'm training everybody else. You got yours. Now to give everyone else a turn. Like her, for example. Give her some kills. There we go, there's Nephany running around the battlefield in high-heeled boots. This isn't a fashion show, it's just war. And clearly the women don't believe in covering up their legs. It's like it's leg day, don't you know? And we got a secret book. I wonder what's inside. Okay. Protect the squishies. That is the plan. Oh, I forgot we had Jacker Shield. I'll probably give it to Ike because he keeps getting no growth and defense. Okay, I think we're good. That's Oscar getting hit. Yikes. You can do it. Oh yeah. Good thing these guys are glass cannons. Oh shit, she's about to untransform. Sure, I'll give it to Rolf. Why not? He earned it. Now, just hope for a decent growth. Give me strength, please. Will RNG be on my side? Yeah, you need an energy drop. You need to take your vitamins, kid. Ooh, but at least we weapon leveled up in weaponry. Good, now we can use steel bows, except he'll be weighed down by it. Ugh, stupid kid. I know I'm giving myself a challenge by training him, but like... I want to try him out, I really do. And we don't have a healer, so Marsha is going to have to go in the back. Um. Okay. Okay, that keeps um, Soren safe, but now we gotta keep Ileana safe. Oh yeah, Titania can go tank it too. Alright, who's left? Alright, I think we're good. Are we good? Let me see what this boss is attacking. Alright. So there's only one target for him, and that's Leaf. Meanwhile, this guy can't reach Leaf, so he's gonna have one more turn. And another bird. Great, which means this chapter goes on a little longer. Ah, a galleon? What are you doing here? You're a disgrace to all the crews. I won't let you continue like this. Ouch. 20 damage. But unfortunately, Lethon transforms. And meanwhile, he's going for Nephany. Maybe I can proc Wrath right now, right? I guess I didn't even need Wrath. Wow, Nephany's just that awesome. That country girl from a big city. Uh, 
All right, drop Rolf. Drop Rolf out at school. Okay, no. No, 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 no. How about Ike? All right, I'll try and give the kill to Ike, hoping he doesn't miss. Erg, not used to flying in these confined decks, are you, human? Funny, but I don't feel confined at all. Without wings, you're nothing but food for crows. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm falling! This seeker seek to death. And it was glorious. And I get another level up. Will this be glorious too? Very glorious, but now we still don't have defense. Blue gem. We're rich. Okay. Good. Now, Joe, go take it down. Ouch. Poke. And heck. Alright, turn, turn 9. I think that was the, um, I think we're too slow to get a good amount of boss experience. You don't need to fly that high, just jump over there and bop him. There we go, chapter's done. And another arm scroll. Sweet. Is everyone alright? I'll check on injuries. Those crows make fierce opponents. How's the ship? Completely immobilized. We can't shake free of this reef. Well, let's go outside and check. I don't think you want to go out that way. This is stranger danger. Nothing's getting done sitting around here. I want us to go on shore and see what I can see. What? Hold on, Ike. You can't... That's dangerous. Behind you. You there. What are you doing? Huh? This could be trouble. Oh, you see, where are you going? I wonder who these guys are. Okay. This is Goldowen territory. Outsiders are not permitted. No, wait, you don't understand. Our ship is on the ground. There's nothing we can do. We're stuck here. Now return to your ship. What happens to Bjork is none of our affair. You carry your completely. You've been warned. You will not be warned a second time. <laughs> Oh boy, this looks troubling. Cease this at once. What do you think you're doing? Hey, it's Prince Kurth. And Gareth. Holy. What the hell's up with that face? <laughs> Man of the Bjork, my countrymen were discourteous. I ask that you forgive them. Who are you? I am Kurth Naga, Prince of Goldoa. The prince? Now we're getting someone. Thanks to some killless pirates, our ships run around. Can you lend us a hand? What is it? You can't help us, can you? <laughs> I'm not used to being dressed in such a man. I was taken off guard. I can't. <laughs> Ike, you are blunt, but thankfully, he's forgiving. I'm more concerned about the misfortune your journey has meant. Of course, the ravens have grown more barbarous, and this cannot stand. My father will lodge a formal protest that would kill us, I assure you. In the meantime, we'll help you with your ship. Gareth, direct the several others to push their ship free. At once! And the Dragon Tribe helps us out again. Such strength! They're all dragons! They're huge and so strong, it's incredible! It's overwhelming, to say the least. Goldoa is the land of the dragons. More than any other Goose Tribe, they're known for the longevity. I've heard tales of Goldoans still living who flew the skies when the goddess herself still walked the land. Titania knows so much about stuff. <laughs> like this. This is indeed good fortune. Your recklessness actually got us out of trouble! Who would have guessed? What's that supposed to mean? We've moved your ship safely and without harm to you or your vessel. Thanks, Prince! Appreciate it! My subjects tell me your ship was lodged against the reef. There's no structural damage to your ship. You'll be fine. Is there anything to require? Uh, yeah, we'd be nice, but we are running low on water. And the food? Well, anything fresh would be wonderful. It shall be done. Gareth, will you see to it? 
Yes, at once. I know Goldo is engaged in trade with other nations, but will you accept gold in payment? Do not worry about payment. Yeah, you've done so much for us. We gotta do something. Yeah, Goldoa is isolated from everybody. For, you know, reasons. Consider it a gift from the Prince of Goldoa. Thank goodness. Yeah, I think we should get out of here right now. Thank you, Your Majesty. Appreciate it. Again. Farewell, Bjork. May your journey be safe. Alright, time to always thank her and get out of here. There's something you miss? First the ravens attacked us and then a band of gold and dragons rescued us. Yeesh, all the lagoos are diff act so different. There's good and evil Bjork, therefore there's good and evil lagoos too. Aye, that is. The beast tribes of Gali and the on dragons of Goldoa seem so honorable. And the birds of kill Vesemvinica seem so cruel. Seems... Yeah, okay, sir. Sure. Beasts, good. Birds, bad. Dragons, neutral. Danes are evil and Crimeans are not. It's simple like that. Well, no. It's not like that. Yeah, you can't just call people good and evil just because of where they come from. You gotta look... You gotta, like, get to know them. He's uncomfortable in dragons. I, w I wonder why. Alright, let's go. Warm yourselves up. It's gonna be chilling below these waters. Lot to think about, huh? Aww, Ellen C and I just look in there. It's like Titanic, only this is good and that wasn't. Alright, that chapter was easy. Next! So, chapter 13, which is a guiding wind. Where will this wind guide us? Pretty much anywhere. Oh, and we're starting off with a report. Let me see, is it Rolf? Yeah, I wonder why. Because I gave him so many kills. Three kills. Or, or I think, was it four? Three and a half, because he damaged one other raven. Oh, we got a lot of support conversations. And this is pretty much the last support conversation for Ike. So, you have a moment, Titania? How can I help you? Remember when we talked the other day about the fa about Titania meeting Grail? I know you don't want to talk, but I won't force you. But it's hard to talk about her past. So, let's hear it. When she was a Crimean knight, she entered it as an offer ex exchange program and was sent to Gallia, where she met Grail. It was a job training session. He took on wave after wave of knights and defeated them like they were children. The other knights barely had any time to lift their weapon before Commander Grail had them on the ground. He was the mightiest warrior I've ever seen. Just a crazy thing. Cross swords, but you wield axes, Titania. And lances. You don't even have the weapon level for sword. What you talking about? Yep. Oh, Marsha can talk to Rolf. Sure. Ready? Aim? You're Rolf, right? What are you doing out here all along? Practice my archery skill, see? I just nail target tree and fire away. Cover the air tips with burlap to prevent accidents. There's one that said with a marmot. Well, I don't know what that means, but whatever. <laughs> She's not he's not small, he's a dangerous missionary. And Marsha wants to help Rolf train. It's like a babysitter or something, but big words from a little guy, huh? Take a look and make sure nobody else is around before you start shooting arrows. Touchy, I see. Oh, there's more? Alright. Oscar and Kieran can talk. Classic rivals. Ugh, what's going on? Oi. Freaking headset is like frizzling out. What the hell's going on? Okay. Yeah, Karen's clearly bitter about Oscar leaving the Crimey Royal Knights. Ugh. Meanwhile, I can talk to more people. Yeah, that's Daniel. 
who has brown hair. George has brown, does blonde hair. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yes, brown hair, Daniel, and weapons. Blonde hair, George, and items. He'll remember that. So, let's say there are two ships, and suppose there are plans connecting ships at three different points. Picturing it. Now then, soldiers from one ship are about to attack the other one. Imagine the defending side has fewer soldiers. If they want to mount a solid defense, what should they do? So, position the soldiers with the best defense on the planks? Soldiers, like cavaliers and knights. So hold the enemy at bay by using your strongest allies to block the primary crossing points. Then you want to have your long-ranged attackers line up behind the tougher units barring the bridges. Attack on anyone with javelins, axes, or magic. You'll be able to do a lot of damage without much risk. This is pretty much a strategy for the next chapter, because this is what we're dealing with. Yeah, three ships from all sides, bridges, and there you go. Ideas. <laughs> it's for a war game between the two brothers. Maybe I shouldn't have been so serious with him. No, I think we got something out of it. We got some helpful advice for the next Threads chapter right here. Meanwhile, Shopkeep decides to hit on Ike for the millionth time, even though... Take the hint, woman. He's not interested in you. So, a story, isn't it? Let's hear it. What's going on? When this crow's attacked, I had wanted to see what they looked like. So I was high on the deck watching. And they could fight. She cried. She cried out, Commander, watch out. Really? I don't remember hearing you at all. Hey, it's just one of the other down to pick our gear from now on. Heh. I guess that's how it begins. So, let's see how our newest recruit is holding up. So, why are you still on the ship, huh? The crows are gone, the truce is over, isn't it? I have a duty. As a Dane soldier, I cannot allow a Crimean princess and her band of mercenaries to run free where they will. If you want to fight, you're on the right path. Think you can take us all on your own? Because if you want to get your friends, I won't stop you. Yeah. Even if she did, they wouldn't stand the chance. I can see land in the distance from time to time, and I thought you could go anywhere on that river of yours. Yeah, she's tired. So, why'd you fall us alone knowing that? She wanted she wanted recognition, of course. You soldiers see and sneer at mercenaries. At least we fight for something real. There are dumb soldiers in this world. You leave us no choice. I'll take you as far as Benyon. But you say the word half beast, you're going off the ship. Ike takes no nonsense to racism. And now a conversation between three brothers. There's something else they can do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nag, nag, nag. So, unstoppable killer attack. Something that only the three of them could do. This is pretty much a triangle attack. <laughs> So, how do we do it? How do I put it? Oh wait, it's too much for your brain. They may not take me, but they're certainly close. Alright, how much experience we got? 300! Which means I'll give Rolf one level up. And for the love of God, please get strength, you stupid kid. I hate you, Rolf. Why did I ever agree to train you? Why did I ever think it was a good idea to train this stupid dummy? Okay. Uh, where is she? There you are. Jill. Can you get strength, please? I'd appreciate it. She got strength, but she got magic. Why? I don't know. Right, one level up for mist. Not bad, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna give you one more level up, Rolf. For the love of God, please get speed. I mean, not speed, strength. Or it's speed too. Perfect! That's the growth I need to see. Alright. Let's go shopping. Let's sell some items right now. Even though we have a lot of gold already. Sure, sell that. 
Okay. No way. Uh, no, no, no. Fire. Do you have steel bows any? Yeah, steel bow. Oh, Rolf can't be weighed down. He'll only be slowed by one. No big deal. I guess. And I can go ahead and, um... Alright, who has a direct... Oh yeah, Oscar has a direct for shield. Let's use that direct for shield right now. Okay, so this is a long chapter. Well, this one was short. Well, while chapter 12 was short, this one's gonna be a longer one.